Today I will be sharing with you two new sewing makes and these are really easy makes so they are great patterns for beginners. So the first one is, let me look at my notes, this is a, sim, a top which is Simplicity 8529 and I made view B. Both of these makes are made out of the same fabric and I purchased this fabric from Joann's. Oh, this is the skirt. Let me show you the top. Okay. So this is the top let me find the front okay yes this is the front and it's a knit and it's really really simple there's not much to it at all like i said it's very beginner friendly it has a little band at the bottom and the front and the back look almost identical but they are two separate pieces a piece for the front a piece on the back both cut on the fold i think that's right but yes, this is a nice pullover top, very comfortable, and this is my first sewing make. And my next one is a skirt. This is Simplicity, I'm sorry, this is New Look 6288. This is also a very beginner friendly sewing pattern. And I made you A, and it is only two pieces in this sewing pattern. And then it has a pretty wide elastic or band for elastic. So it's pretty long and in fact it was very long I had to end up cutting off over two inches on the hem because it was just pretty much sweeping the floor but it looks pretty much the same on the front and the back very very easy to put together so I made these two garments to wear together however just to keep the video interesting I thought I would share with you how I styled these two garments different ways in t with two different outfits. So I'll go ahead and share that with you right now. So that is how I style these two makes. I love that I can wear them together or I can wear them separately. And let me talk about the skirt that I'm wearing with the top in the video clip. So this is Quick Sew 1707 and I made this over the summer. It does have a fly front zipper and all of that. I made view B which was the longer version or which is the longer version. But I decided after I made it to cut it off and make it short. And I ended up cutting off too much and it was too short. So what I did was I went to the fabric store and I found a denim remnant and I just sewed that denim remnant around the bottom hem of the skirt. And this is how it came out. And then I split, left a little split up the side. So, and of course you can see I left it raw. I like that frayed look. And now I love the skirt and it's wearable again because I had actually messed it up when I cut off too much and I was like, oh no. But by adding the little remnant on the bottom, you know, I feel like, okay, now I'm, I'm back. I can wear my skirt again. So, so yeah, this is the skirt. I really love it. This is a skirt that's in the clip and denim to me is so forgiving because these denims don't match they don't match at all but i like that i really really love working with denim because like i said it's pretty forgiving and you can get away with you know mixing up different denim shades and things like that so i really love that so yes those are actually the three makes that i have to share with you today of course one i've shown before so before i go my love share okay oh i love doing love shares all right so something i learned recently was that you can get toothpaste in pill slash tablet form 
I had no idea. So what you do is you take the little pill or the little tablet, whatever you want to call it, you put it in your mouth, you chew on it a little bit and it starts to foam up and then you just brush your teeth. But I had no idea that you could get toothpaste that way. And I think the whole idea of getting your toothpaste in pill form is to eliminate or reduce the use of plastics. So that is something I learned recently and I wanted to share that with you. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.